it's Andrew Helmich here from Impact Images, and welcome to another episode of the Central Coast Wedding Photography Quick Tips. Today I want to talk to you about the different style of packages that are available, in particular the disc only package which is becoming super popular these days. There seems to be less and less albums getting out there, but it's really important that you understand that if you ever want to have an album, then you need to be careful with the photographer that you're choosing so that they understand how to shoot for an album. Now you might think that photographers a professional photographer will just go out there and shoot any old way, everything's the same, but it's not the case. If I'm shooting for an album, let's say, um, let's take before the ceremony, I'm shooting all the detail shots at your house before you're getting ready, so I'm looking at the, you know, the flowers, the perfume, the shoes, your jewellery, your dress, so all those little details. Now, if they're all going to be laid out in an album, they all need to be sort of shot the same way, they either need to be shot as portrait or landscape, just so they all fit together so they can tell that story nicely. Now, if I wasn't shooting for an album, and I was just shooting any old way, I would just set those different things up and shoot them any old way. And there's no way where you'd find it very hard to fit them into an album and actually look good together. Because some would be this way, some would be this way, and it just wouldn't work out that well. And that goes throughout the whole day. So we, you know, we could be at the beach, and your husband could take your hand, and you're heading down the beach, beautiful sunset, the you know, rolling waves in the background, the headland, and I'm just shooting that as you guys walk away. He leans over, gives you a kiss, it looks fantastic. Now, if I tend to just chop and change you know, my framing all the way through, there's a good chance that those photos won't fit together to tell a nice story in the album. Now, if you're not having an album ever, not a problem. It won't matter. You, you know, this whole video will be irrelevant to you, but if you think you may want an album either from your photographer at some stage, or you, even if you want to design one yourself, things will be so much easier if you have a photographer that knows how to shoot for an album, and you need to make that very clear to them that you will be having an album at some stage. So, just telling them, them sorry, just telling them that may not be enough. So, what I suggest you do is have a look at some of their albums. They should have albums on there on display and you should see the way the layouts have been done. If they look good, if they look like they tell a great story and they look like the style of photos that you would like to have for your wedding day, then yeah, I'd say go ahead and book, but make sure you tell them that you're planning on having an album as well. Now, another thing I didn't mention is when we're shooting for an album, what, what I also do and what a lot of other professional good photographers, good photographers will do, oh, getting tongue-tied. It's actually difficult talking to a video camera rather than a real person, which I'm trying to imagine that I'm doing. So um, if you haven't done this, you've got to try it sometime. It's, it's, uh, it's bizarre. Anyway, if you're, what was I saying? So when, I, when I'm shooting a wedding and I know it's for, an, uh, you know, whether it's for anyone for me, but um, especially so, for, it becomes especially important for an album, we always tend to shoot on manual mode. Now the reason that is important is because if we shoot in auto, what happens is as you, say, walk towards us, let's take this beach scenario again, as you get closer and closer and closer, what happens is my camera settings change because you're filling up more of the frame, it's confusing the light meter, and then those photos either become a little bit darker or a little bit lighter than when I first started shooting that little sequence. Now, not a problem for me because I can fix them in Photoshop if they're going into an album, but I prefer not to. I'd rather get them right in camera the first time, so I'll shoot all of those on manual so I have the same light, the same looking, same color, same style of image in every single photo for that sequence. Now that's really important, especially if you look at doing it your own album in the future. If you don't know Photoshop, you're gonna have a hell of a try, a hell of a struggle, a hell of a time trying to make those images match and look good in an album. So again, it doesn't matter if you're not having an album yourself or you never plan to have one. If you're looking at just having a couple of wall prints around the house, on display or you might be emailing some photos around the place then yeah look you can pick out one or two photos or you know from a series or a sequence and no one will, no one will ever know and you won't know either you know whether the color was slightly off or slightly out between all the other different photos in that sequence because you've just picked out that one you've had that worked on and you had that mounted on the wall so that's great this only really becomes an issue if you're looking at having an album where you're going to have little sequences showing then you'll be running into all sorts of problems so I hope that helps. Be careful when you're booking a photographer, particularly if you're looking at having, having an album in the future. I've never been more tongue-tied. <laughs> I can't even say tongue-tied. I've never been more tongue-tied than in this video uh, ever before. All right, I'm getting out of here. All right, hope to talk to you soon. Catch you later. Bye-bye.